stuck at home, have an overwhelmingly large amount of light pollution around you, think you can't do astrophotography anymore? Well, not anymore, because check this shit out. A couple weeks ago, I saw a post on Cloudy Nights by a guy called That. And he showed that he was able to shoot broadband galaxies from within Tokyo. A Bordel 9, the widest zone you can find on light pollution map. He said he used nothing but a normal luminance filter and just a color camera. And I was blown away by the results and it really inspired me to try to shoot myself. Especially while we're all stuck here. It's very disappointing to know that if you're stuck at home uh, and you can't go anywhere because you have to be safe and keep everybody else safe, uh, that you can't shoot Astro anymore. Um, I was bummed out by this and this post saved me because I went ahead and tried it and it really blew my mind to see how much detail I could actually extract from Bordel 9 uh, location and it's just it's insane and I really would advise you to try it again. It really puts it into perspective how much I do not understand how light works. This really changed my astrophotography because from now on I will not be complaining about shooting from Bortle 5 or 6. So let me take you guys outside of this room to see exactly what I did. I'm going to show you guys what I have here. Let's go. So, of course. And the ion gun mount case as the computer stand. And we have a time lapse machine over here. CW 224 color camera. 28 seconds. Uh, time lapse. All right, we have the CM60EC. We have the Celestron Edge HD 8 inch with the reducer. And we're actually using the OAG as a spacer with a filter holder. Right now it's shooting RGB, so there's no filter in there. I, I did capture some HA before. The ZWO 2600MC Pro. The ZWO 2690MM Mini, sorry. And, you know, the Chinese stuff. Good old Chinese stuff. Um, ooh, right. And my battery. It's a e-bike battery, actually. I have... Right here, maybe you can see. I have some data on how much it's drawing. That's quite a bit, but yeah, it works really well. Yeah, I'm just leaving this out here outside the room, which is in there. Um, I've been on for hours shooting the whirlpool. So I would encourage you to try this out. Even if you're in the worst possible location there is in terms of light pollution, because even though I was shooting without a filter, this really blew my mind. The result is not half bad. It's pretty good. What I learned from this is galaxies and very bright objects uh, are actually easy to shoot through Bortle 9. The big problem is, is the background and the fainter details, because those will get drowned out by the city lights. And to, to actually help you with that, you would use a light pollution filter. And of course, that wouldn't be as great as shooting from a very dark location, but it's something. And we're all stuck at home, so it's all we have for now. If you're gonna try this, try to make your sub exposures not too bright, because if you do, that light pollution is gonna start actually overexposing uh, your images and you will lose detail. You wanna try a very nice mean value for your background. It depends on your light pollution, depends on your portal scale. Um, so just try to figure out what's the best exposure for you. What did it for me was two minutes and as many as I could. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope this inspires you to go out and try for yourself wherever you may live. And please let me know in the comments if how it went. I really would love to see some results. If you like the video, please like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and keep safe. And I hope you have clear skies and great images in the future.